partial differentiation. an e-book that explained major concepts of math using simple and everyday examples and analogies. What if sine theta is a measure of how much perpendicular two forces or objects or influences are with respect to each other? So a roof which is perpendicular to the flow of snow, won't it collect more snow than a roof that is less perpendicular? Now, coming to cos theta. Cos is a measure of how much parallel two forces or objects or influences are with respect to each other. Say two forces push a drum. Won't the maximum effect be when these forces are acting parallel to each other? Complex numbers. They come into math whenever one parent force or influence gets divided into two daughter influences. You can call one daughter influence as the real part and the other daughter force as the imaginary part. 
What if the base of logarithms is the rate at which change takes place? What if log of a number gives you the cause for every effect? In calculus, dx means keep adding along the x-axis. d means keep adding along the y-axis. Dozen means keep adding along the z-axis. d theta means keep adding along a vertically curved plane. Deep psi means keep adding along a horizontally curved plane. DH means keep adding along increasing height. Doctor means keep adding along increasing radius. Also, what if integration and differentiation are reverse processes of each other? Add disks one above another along a height, you get a cylindrical structure. Thoughts integration. Remove disks along height, you get circles. Divergence is the rate of change of a quantity for example heat along the x, y and z axis simultaneously. What if curl is a measure of how much a field can make you spin? What if i, j and k in the formula indicate different planes of rotation? What if the diagonal of a matrix is the axis of rotation of a matrix? What if all these intuitive examples and understanding is explained in one single ebook? More such concepts explained intuitively. Link is given below in description.